Good morning, good evening, girls and boys. It's Frame Trap Tom here. I'm going to bring you an update preview video for the patch notes on uh, the Frame Trap 5 Hitbox Viewer 0.9.3. Uh, it's the one that we're going to be releasing pretty soon. Hopefully I'm going to do it this weekend, if not next week. Uh, now, as you can see, we've got the game already slowed down here, so let me jump straight in and show you what we've actually got. Now, the hitbox viewer itself has had a little bit of a UI update. We've got a couple of extra features on uh, to, to, to show you today. The main thing is that the way you activate the hitbox viewer has changed slightly. Uh, we now use hooks to activate, so when you jump into the game, you don't have to be in a match, you don't have to be in training room in order to, to start the hooks, but make sure you activate this button first. Um, the others will then become enabled. You can turn on the hitbox viewer, for example, and this will turn on the hitboxes in the game. Days. So you can see Nikali's got his wonderful rage going on there, and Alex, we can see his hard punch in slow motion as the result of the speed modifier. Now, the speed modifier can go in both uh, slow-mo and uh, turbo, so if we've got it in slow motion here, we've got it at half the speed of the game, we could actually whip that straight up to, to double, and you can see, oh, they're, they're really moving right there. Alex at full speed. OP walking speed. So the speed modifier is... Uh, it's very useful if you're wanting to analyze the individual moves of the game, mainly because when you slow it down, the hitboxes will follow the animations in time, so you can really uh, get the nitty-gritty of the measurements. Now, if you are interested in measurements, the other feature we have is the text. Now, text inactive, uh, if I just switch that on, we can actually see already the hitboxes have now got their individual measurements uh, around the top left corner. Now this includes actives as well, so if I do that with a, a move and just pause it at the right time, so you can see even uh, we get the details of what the uh, level of the move is as well, so you can see if it's a low, mid or overhead, and uh, we get the measurements for the size of the hitbox as well. So if you're wanting to use this for analysis of hitboxes, I would highly recommend using the, the text. It really helps if you're trying to, to, to find out why something didn't hit or did hit. Now to complement that, we've also got the on-screen display. Now the on-screen display is uh, a new feature that we're going to be introducing and it has uh, two main things. Firstly, we have these numbers right next to the characters, so we've got zero on the left and the right. That is actually the live frame advantage for each character. So if I walk up to Niklai, let's, let's speed up a little bit, actually make sure it's a little bit more copable. Okay, there we go. So if I walk up to Nikali and give him a jab, we can actually see the frame advantage for Alex whilst he's jabbing Nikali. So you can see it goes to four there. So we can actually probably... Does he have any four frame moves? Maybe not. But uh, you can see that he's um, plus four when he's using his jab. It's plus five when he's using his medium punch and negative one when he's using his heavy. So the frame advantage actually works with slow motion, so if we slow this right down, so we go right down to the nitty gritty. Now, you can actually see there that it's going through the entire animation and running down from uh, negative 11 to, to zero. So when I'm using that in game, if I hold back, then when he hits zero, he can start moving. That's what's called an interrupt frame. Now, whenever you're in hit stun or block stun or in idle, uh, the interrupt frame is essentially the first frame that you can perform a new move. Um, if I do it with the light punch again, so it goes from 12, because it's 12 frames long, I can jump immediately after it hits zero. Now, this is incredibly useful when you're looking at how fast a move starts up with, because if someone whiffs the move um, from far away, you can see how many frames you've got to react. Now, if I go up to Nikali and just give him a nice jab in the face, go even dash forward has this disadvantage shown quite nicely there. So I jab in the face, as soon as I hit him, it shows that it's four frames. So even in slow motion, it still has uh, a decent accuracy for, for the move. Now, when I speed this up to, to full motion, da, da, da. okay, there we go. Now, the importance of this is that it's taking into account the moment you hit them because it's using the interrupt frame. Now, there's two reasons that this is important. A, it's it's nice to know that when you're hitting someone, you're getting the, the live uh, data instead of just the frame advantage of the move on hit and on block. So, I'm hitting Nikali there. Let's put him into block stance. 
Okay, so guard all. Yoink. Excellent. So we're getting the different value of two when he's blocking. So it's really, really nice to see the differences there. So it, it doesn't matter if he's blocking or if he's uh, not blocking. You still get the right values. Now, the second reason it's important is because this will show up meaty moves as well. So let's see if we get a decent meaty move. Okay. So if I do... Uh, the move quite early so that it hits Nikali on the downfall. You can see in the hit stun it gets 16 frames of advantage. Now if I slow this down so it makes it a little bit easier for us to see, let's get about I think about 2.25. Okay, so about we're about a quarter of the speed now, so this should help us see. But when I do the heavy kick early enough, it hits Nikali and then I get a 15 frame advantage. If I do it late excuse my execution that's 15 frames let's try it late 17 frames excellent so it actually does show you that you can have an extra advantage on meaties oh look at that 19 frames and then as soon as I land I'm at 13 so that gives me 13 frames of advantage on that meaty hard kick to follow up with the next move so I'm just going to edit this in as I nearly forgot to show you the secondary feature. The second thing on the on-screen display is the distance. Now I don't know if you can see it at the bottom, I'll just hover my mouse over it. There is actually a distance marker which will hover in between the two characters as they move. Now when you've got the text active, uh, it doesn't show it, but when you disable it, boom! Arrow, nice big arrow. You can see the center point for both characters uh, ends at the end of the arrows. And as we move towards each other, the distance adapts in life uh, real time. So we've set it so that mid-range yellow is just under two units. And as soon as you're within a unit's breadth, it goes into red to show you in the danger zone. And uh, basically, using this, it's going to be a lot easier to analyze the distances for your your very specific combo punishes. So if you just need to get within a certain distance after someone uh, reversal DPs from wake up then you can use this to kind of really find out what that is and practice it. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, this featurette for 0 0.9.3 and um, like I said it is hopefully going to be coming out on this weekend uh, if I get the, uh, the patch all sorted and all I need is feedback we desperately need all the feedback that we can get it's more useful than you guys can can imagine so if you have uh, any performance issues, if you have any suggestions, um, or any other kind of feedback just you liked using the tool, then let us know. Uh, you can get us on Twitter or via the uh, comment section below. You can find it as at Frametrapped. Uh, so, yeah, give us the feedback. Use the tool. It is free to download from Frametrapped.com. Um, await the 0.9.3 update, and uh, it will be notified when it uh, gets released. So, hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for listening, and have a good night.